Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I wanted to answer a very common question that I get, a very basic question, and that is, what do I do if I think I have bedbugs? The first thing you shouldn't do is panic. Um, you know, when people find bedbugs in their home, it's a very traumatic experience. It's very upsetting. You know, you hear all these news stories about bedbugs and, and how difficult they can be to get rid of, and you may have just found them in your home, or you may have bites on you that you can't explain that are consistent with bedbugs. And so what do you do? There's a couple different directions that you can go with this. And the first direction that we typically recommend is to contact a knowledgeable professional. You know, go out there, find a good pest control company in your area to come out and perform an inspection of your home and try to evaluate the situation and see if they can confirm if you have bed bugs. And people, you know, know that I'm associated with the, the pest control industry and they say, well, that's just your pest control industry pitch. It really isn't. You know, a lot of people find these bugs in their home or they think they have bed bugs and they start trying to take care of it on their own. And what they don't realize is that a lot of the pesticides that you buy over the counter these days at your local hardware store, whatever the case may be, many of them are repellent to bed bugs. And what that means is that the bed bugs can sense them and they try to get away from them. And so people find bed bugs in their house or think they have them. They say, let's say, apply these pesticides to the box spring on the bed because that's where they found them. And then the bed bugs can sense that chemical and they move away from that box spring and they infest other areas of the home. And what that can do is it can spread bed bugs through the house and it can make the infestation much more expensive and much more difficult to deal with in the future. And you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and kid anybody that everybody's going to have the money to hire a knowledgeable professional. And there are good do-it-yourself techniques out there. And so the second recommendation is to, first recommendation is to contact a knowledgeable professional. Second recommendation is if you are going to try to do this on your own, which I do not recommend, but if you, do, if you don't have the money to hire somebody and you do want to try this on your own, the thing I recommend is to go out and do your research. Watch videos here on Bedbug TV. Go to bedbugcentral.com and read Bedbugs 101 and learn as much as you can. Go to other university-based websites and read. Try to find uh, websites that aren't affiliated with the manufacturer of a product. You know, if you go out to a product website and start reading, obviously they're going to try to pitch their product to you. Try to find, you know, non-biased experts that you can get information from and learn as much as you can. There's a ton of information out there and, you know, that can help you make the right choices in regards to how to treat your infestation if you are going to go that direction. Now, going back to contacting an eligible professional, there's also another resource on Bedbug Central called Bedbug Free. And what that is, is it's a network of pest control companies throughout the entire United States and even Canada that have been approved to use methods that are consistent with what we use at Bedbug Central. What we recommend, I should say, at Bedbug Central. We're not a treatment company, so it's what we recommend. And it's using encasements, using interception devices. Pesticides are an important part of a program, so incorporating pesticides where needed, vacuuming, using steam or other technique to kill bugs and eggs on contact, all of these different things make up a good progressive bed bug treatment. And the bed bug free companies apply to our program, we approve them, and they take an approach similar to ours. And so you can go on our website, bedbugcentral.com, look at the bed bug free companies, and see if one is in your area. We wanted to provide a group of companies that people could go to in other parts of the country and hopefully find a company that's consistent with what we recommend. And so that's one way to find a knowledgeable professional. If there isn't a bed bug free company in your area, you know, go into your phone book, go online, search pest control companies in your area. And when you call these companies, ask them how they handle bed bugs. Do they use things other than pesticides, bed encasements, interception devices? Those are all things that you want to look for in a pest control company because you, know, you don't want to just rely on pesticides. There's a lot of resistance built up to a lot of the pesticides we use in a lot of bed bug field populations. And so if you rely on just pesticides and you have a highly resistant colony infesting your home, unfortunately, you may have a difficult time getting rid of them. And so that's why we recommend using things other than pesticides. And so that's what you're going to look for in a company in your area. And then obviously the other basic questions that go with any industry. What is their experience level with bed bugs? You know, how many infestations have they done? This, that, and the other. And so our first recommendation and most important is to contact a knowledgeable professional. Don't panic. Go out and do your research. Watch Bedbug TV, bedbugcentral.com, whatever the case may be. Go out and learn your information. And the bottom line is, is that, you know, that's a good place to start. In regards to your home, you can take a vacuum and vacuum any bugs that you see up. 
If you do that, you want to make sure you dispose of the bag, if that's what the vacuum emptied into, in an outside trash receptacle so the bugs don't reinfest your house. Make sure you empty the vacuum out because the bugs can live in that vacuum. Obviously, you want, if you want to, you can inspect the home and try to figure out where you have problems and where you don't. Remember, bed bugs are typically going to infest the box spring first inside beds. A tricky thing that we're not going to talk a whole lot about because there's legal ramifications is that if you find bed bugs inside your bed, what do you do? And many people's first reaction is that I'm going to go sleep on the couch. And let me tell you the concerns with that. If you go and sleep somewhere else, there's a good chance that bed bugs could follow you to that location and you may end up spreading them throughout your house. And so going and sleeping somewhere else will not necessarily help your problem. But here I'm not going to tell you that you have to sleep in that bed. You know, you have to do what you're comfortable with. I just want to let you know that if you do go sleep in another room, that the bed bugs may follow you to that room and just infest that room later on down the road. And now you're spreading bed bugs throughout your house. And so it's just something to keep in mind. I'm not telling you to stay in that room. Just keep that in mind that if you are going to go stay in other rooms, that is something that could happen. And so if you do, take precautions to hopefully prevent that. And those are a couple quick pointers on what to do if you find bed bugs inside your house. Do your research, both personally and from a pest control company's perspective. Know there are good solutions and know to ask the right questions. And that, everybody, is what to do. If you have any questions on this topic, you can contact me, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.